<laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Hey, little man. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, eye, just buy. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not off. listening to anything I say. So I'm cutting that. Are you? Yeah. What? Hey, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Ooh, too, too much, much sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was Two peas in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle scope. Oh, it was so high time. last night. He's showing jealous. Cool. No way. You, you He's a big boy now. Knives, How did you get okay. out of his way? <laughs> Smart. Yeah, if you get too clingy, people run away. I don't know what I'm talking hey, about. Who's the knife master on here? Test. Did you lock the tent? You want to cease the pursuit in that even? So. Wrong. How do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end he up here? <laughs> With us misfits. I actually feel free. It's been a long time. Thanks to you. I hope so. Finn and me had a bet how long you would last. Okay. Don't hurt me. I lost. Thanks. I'm glad you did. Can't get rid of me yet. Hey! I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sap phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. Bigfoot. Think about it. Big Joe. Bigfoot. Whoa. <laughs> you might be on something. They both smell. Stinky? Big Joe foot. <laughs> Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. He's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Sir, yes, sir. Come on, Sean. We're gonna be late. Right.
Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Girls gotta sit in their asses while the males are outside? Yeah, right on. Like I wanna go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you wanna trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside! Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls. But this is a pot farm, and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. Right. I'm... gonna go check on him, then. How old is he, anyway? Oh, uh, nine. He's nine years old. Jeez, tough age. Gotta keep a close eye on them. Yeah, not an easy thing to do out here. I know, ain't no place for children. That's why I keep mine in New York. Isn't that hard? Of course it is, but it won't be forever. Okay, I'm not your buddy. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it! All right, we good? Eh, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told them they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. Shh. Meryl almost kicked us out because of your big mouth. What part of Lalo don't you get? You shouldn't even be here. Sure. I bet you wish I wasn't here. Oh, stop. I can tell. You know exactly what I meant. Oh, I feel you, Daniel. Sometimes I get stir crazy in here, too. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here. But I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. <laughs> hmm. Look at all 
all these parts? Oh, this is nothing. Last spring, we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. 15 hours straight once. Yeah, trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa, we are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. Ah, fuck this. This game sounds bad, man. What is it? You got work to do. Mind your own business. <laughs> okay, whatever, Mr. Grumpy. Jeez, it's called Mustard Party, okay? What? You're playing Mustard Party? Jeez, that's so cool. I used to be on the scoreboard. Cool, I don't care. Aw, oh, Joseph, are you not on the scoreboard? Shut up. You got work to do. Uh. Okay, sweetie? It's okay. You're doing fine. Just slow down if you need to. I know. I will. Thanks, Sean. hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay. Just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. <laughs> I can't allow that. <laughs> Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. real though if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere cassidy we get it over and over hey, come on. you don't want to be here Ugh. give me a break i can't so what so i'm allowed to dream a little you won't get hurt <laughs> promise what about louisiana must be so sweet this time of year Jesus. Huh. okay man Ugh. I'd love to visit New Orleans. Yep. Yeah. Check out the voodoo okay. shops and the blues band. <laughs> that would be cool. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, I mean. let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. Oh, this is Joe, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit. It's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa, down. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. 
Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh. Don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. Ugh. We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a mm. fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop. You know we voted to stay for a while. <sighs> Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. Shit. How's it going? Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go. <sighs> Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus or off the bus. Hey, everybody chill. Let's uh, not get- Sean, step back. This is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, mom. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joseph. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. <laughs> Look at these baby soft hands. Trimming sucks. At least I didn't cut myself again today. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. And sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Actually, kind of fun. Cass and Hannah cracked me up. They're like sisters. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job. Cash. Friends. Safety. Sean, everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear, he acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, 
<laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of... Mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for hot cars. Yeah. He'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That... Sucks. Uh, what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling. Checking out new things. Yeah, never gets old. <laughs> well... Going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. Uh, but you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. Uh, it will be all right. Sean, don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. Time to take the pen, dude. Finn's attitude is so nonchalant. Like he's not bothered by anything. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Okay. Got it. You are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> that may be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. <laughs> Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. You're good. Oh, no way! That looks exactly like him. He would love it. Don't you think that's weird? Why would it be? Don't overthink everything, Sean Diaz. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? Practice. I just keep trying to get better. I would draw no matter what. That's what keeps me going. Huh. Yeah, same here. With my music. This place is great for inspiration. These redwoods, the fog, the ocean. <laughs> Smells like hope and freedom. Except for the working part, I guess. Yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. Yeah, but... Life isn't easy going from place to place. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I do because we did, but it's still hard. <sighs> Hope we can just get to Mexico. Oh, you will. You guys came a long way already. You're tougher than you think. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. <sighs> I do like traveling around, but I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? 
going back to all the crap I left behind? No way. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> well, apart from my dad, I'd say Lila. Definitely. She was like my best friend. I miss our talks. I'm sure she's very special. Even when I had a shitty day, she would always make me laugh. Always. Feels like years since we talked. Probably never again. But things change. Right? Yep. So keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Yes, I know. Go fill the water tanks. Let's keep that souvenir from the master sculptor. ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money, nobody. Hitched north, worked on farms, learned how to trim. I had to bail after some tweaker tried to attack me up in Arcata. What? That is awful, Hannah. I almost killed that fuck, but I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. I had this sweet deal with Meryl. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home, get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up? We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green, but starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit, especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Not for long. It's true. We gotta do something. That's what we're saying. Blah fucking blah. Taurus talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world. And then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest. Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV. I can tell. 
Like those kids who come through here all psyched, and they have to bust ass, and they're gone. I know I have a lot to learn. I mean, you've been doing this for years, right? Pretty much. Ten years or so. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. Well, what do I gotta do to pass initiation? Don't be a pussy. Stand up for us. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I hear you, but my brother comes first. Always. That's good. Shows you're not a selfish prick. Not way too many. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn at some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago, pissed at everything. Hurt, unable to commit to anything, except us. Then Pennywise found us, here in Humboldt, tripping about his friend Jinx. But you know, he just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me to. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. Almost done. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? No thanks. Almost done. I'll meet you at the lake for my training. Okay then. Oh, I think I will miss it here. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Plus, Portland's waiting for us. I think I'll take a nap. Me too. I'm exhausted after today. <sighs> Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. One step at a time, Sean. Damn. Trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? I think I made some good trims today. And talking with the girls is always entertaining. Let's carry this one to the kitchen.
pennies all over the place. Whew. Uh, that's it. Uh. Finally. Gonna wait for you near the lake, Those guys dude. sure know how to live Don't outdoors. They've taught me so much already. I won't. See you there. Man, sure means sauce. I like Hannah, though. Ooh, <laughs> why is that? I don't know. She's honest and tough, like a warrior. <sighs> yeah, maybe too honest sometimes. I thought that was a good thing. <sighs> Not when she just likes to fuck with people. Well, she's cool to me. Sorry. <laughs> Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Oh, yeah. I can do better with my own skills now. Next level. Onward. Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Might make for a cool souvenir. Finn said he wants to show me this little cave or Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. doing hey <laughs> your face come on I wasn't gonna drop it on you very funny man okay let's have some fun Pick a rock. Any rock. Okay. And... Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay. You're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit, that was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? Is that all you got? Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can.
Whoa, Daniel. That's a... That's amazing. Come on. Find something else. Hmm. Let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? That was some next-level shit, Daniel. I can do anything now. Hey, don't go crazy. This is still a secret. You still have to be careful with it, man. You we'll always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well, it's my power, not yours. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! That sucks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Bet you don't even want me around anymore. Don't say that. You know it's always you and me and I know. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. I can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together, right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Fuck. Daniel, stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No! anymore.